Hi, and welcome to the Stack Tutorial. In this video, we'll deal with importing questions from another course, as well as putting them together in a quiz. If you're already familiar with how to do this in Moodle, or you're using another learning environment, you may skip this tutorial. Now let's say you found some questions in another course that you want to import into your own course. Go to the other course, and under Question Bank, click on Export, then choose Moodle XML Format, and choose the category of questions you want to export. Then click Export Questions to File. This will then put that category into an XML file. You can then go to your own course, and under Question Bank, click Import. Choose Moodle XML Format, and drag and drop that XML file in, and click Import. This will then put all those questions into a new category. You can also export individual questions by going to that question, going to Question Tests and Deployed Variants, and then choosing Export this question, which will also put it as an XML file. Now, if you've collected a good selection of questions, either made them yourself or imported them, and you want to put them in a quiz, go to your course and click Turn Editing On. And under a topic, click Add an activity or resource, and then select Quiz, and click Add. You can then give it a name, and a description, and then you'll have a lot of options for the quiz behavior. First off, you can set when the quiz opens and closes, if you choose to enable that feature, as well as the time limit. You can choose how many attempts are allowed. And then you can pick a question behavior. The question behaviors dictate how many attempts students are given and how penalties are distributed. The most important ones are immediate feedback. Immediate feedback only lets students have one try at each question, but will give immediate feedback. Deferred feedback is similar but does not give feedback until after some given date. This might be useful for something like an online examination. Adaptive mode lets the student have as many tries as they want, but deducts a penalty from the total score each time the student got the answer wrong. Interactive with multiple tries is similar, but you only have a limited number of tries. The specific amount of tries that you're allowed is set at each question. If you go to the question and then to the options section, you can see that there are hints by default too, but you can add more. When the question behavior is set to interact with multiple tries, the amount of attempts that is allowed is one more than the amount of hints given in each question. So if you fill these two hints out and added that question behavior, the student would be allowed three tries, and after each one, a hint would be shown. Under Review Options, you can select more specifically what you want the student to see when, either during the attempt, immediately after the attempt, later while the quiz is still open, or after the quiz is closed. There are a lot more options for quizzes, but these are the most essential ones. Click Save and Return to Course. If you later want to change the quiz name, you can click on this little pen to do so. And then click Enter when you're finished. You can click Edit and Edit Settings if you want to edit the quiz settings later. To add questions, click on the quiz, and then click Edit Quiz. Here you can add either a new question or a question from your question bank. 
A new question could be any of the Moodle types, including something like a description, or you could add a new stack question. In this case, we might add from this question bank we added all these four example questions we've been working with so far. That concludes this tutorial. You should now be able to import questions and create a simple quiz in Moodle.